and welcome to this week's preview show coming from Vitality Stadium. Head of Academy Joe Roach joins us as we look ahead to tomorrow night's game in the Premier League. Coming up today, we'll be looking back at the weekend and discussing that narrow 3-2 defeat to Spurs. We'll also discuss the under-21s and their big Premier League Cup game tonight. And finally, we'll be looking ahead to tomorrow night's game at Selhurst Park. But first, we are going to rewind the clock two days and start back at that 3-2 defeat to Spurs. Joe, it was a, a tightly fought affair and one that the, the Cherries can take confidence from. Oh, I think so. Um, you know, it uh, gives opportunities for the players. Um, there's obviously key players missing. Um, I think to go to a stadium like Tottenham with uh, manager of the Stan and the Marino to go there and uh, take on board all that uh, background um, situations that go on in football. Um, I thought they started particularly well. Uh, they were unfortunate, obviously, not to finish the thing off, which is you know, points are important, goals are important. So I think uh, the manager and the players would take uh, good stock from that. And two goals for Harry Wilson as well. That must, you know, do wonders for him. Well, I think someone coming off from the bench, you know, everyone who comes off from the bench has to make an in impact, whether it's a defender, defending or uh, a striker or midfield player trying to support goals or assisting goals. And Harry goes, comes on and finishes two goals. So I think it's fantastic for him. Um, he's a very uh, clever player. Obviously, free kicks is a speciality. So really pleasing for him and more importantly, pleasing for the squad to have that addition coming on. And from your point of view, it must have been fantastic to have Gavin Kilkenny and Christian Sadie on the bench as well. Um, yeah, uh, and obviously uh, Jack Simpson there. So from the academy point of view, I think from an academy as a whole, um, you're waiting in anticipation of someone giving a chance. And uh, the manager's done that over the last few seasons in the Premier League. So, you know, we're delighted as a staff and uh, for those players, particularly in their families uh, and Christian in particular, it's a fantastic good news story for us. And Christian, he, he's obviously still an under-18 and he's had to overcome a, an injury as well this season. Well, he's had to un un uh, come through a couple of adversities. He got released by a, a club. He's come into here, into a new club. Um, he needed to work extremely hard, uh, which he was doing with, with Alan and uh, the staff. And then he succumbs to an injury here in the FA Youth Cup uh, quite nasty injury uh, but his attitude and, and the work that was done with the support staff around him from a physical point of view medically has got him back on his feet and his, I think it's actually in some ways perversely you don't want anyone to get injured but I think it's actually given an opportunity to re reflect on the opportunity and he's come back in, in a great mindset and obviously he's been trained with the first team the manager quite likes him obviously and uh, yeah absolutely delighted he's a great kid and uh, you know collectively we're delighted for any play gets an opportunity. And as you said, training with the first team as well. I know there's been a few others, but for him, that's brilliant for his confidence. He's learning every day and he's learning off the best as well. Of course he is. Um, and I think that says a lot about, you know, the staff who are coaching the teams at the younger age groups, you know, from the Alan with the 18s, uh, Mark Mosley and Sean Cooper, that the messages are fairly consistently. And I mean, we need to make sure the process is right. And I think when people go into training with the manager and the first team staff, I think they've got an idea of what's expected of them to a degree. They'll have the physical challenge, obviously, and some of the technical, tactical things which they need to improve on. But I think if they can go in there and, and deal with that uh, from a mental point of view, then who knows? And for the rest of the lads in, in the academy and the youth team, they can look at the likes of Gavin Kilkenny, Jack Simpson and, and Christian Sadie. They, they can see they're involved with the first team. That can really be something for them to aspire to as well. Uh, I think so. You know, we, we keep talking to parents and players and, and particularly parents of players that we want to come in from outside our academy to say that this is who we are, this is the opportunity we've got if you do the right things and actually we can rump a stamp it at the end of the day when we can make statements like we did it, or we, we, did, we can do it this weekend. I think Sam Surridge on Friday in the championship is another example. We had some players playing for Eastleigh in the FA Cup at the weekend who didn't get the journey with us but they've gone on and uh, all credit to those players who play for Eastleigh now at that level. Um, you know, we're, Our job is to try and keep people in the game and ideally for AFC Bournemouth, but we need to develop in a way that they can go out and compete at another level. And you mentioned Sam Sarish there. Just a word on him because he's, you know, he's enjoying this lane spell with Swansea and he's recently been called up to the England under 21s. He's, he's having a good season, isn't he? He's fantastic. He's, he's just progressed and progressed and progressed year on year. You know, he was released by us and then brought back in. He's a, he's a fantastic story that we use um, to see him go out and compete in the Championship, which is not an easy leak. I thought he did particularly well on Friday night. Uh, I watched the game, I've spoken to him briefly, and he's a great, great kid. Um, so, you know, we wish him all the best while he's out. Absolutely. Well, next up for our under 21s, it's a big Premier League Cup game against Southampton tonight. Dinesh Galella and Jordan Zamora have been talking to AFCB TV ahead of the game. 
Dinesh, obviously a huge game on Monday night in the Premier League Cup. Just tell us a bit about how excited the boys are to be facing Southampton. No, we're buzzing. We're buzzing, to be fair. Um, obviously, we've prepped well. Obviously, this week has been prepped towards Southampton. Uh, we've got a win and a draw, so we're doing fairly well. And obviously, you want to keep our momentum up and get the win against Southampton. So, Jordan, it's obviously a very important game in our Cup run. Does it feel a bit different in the camp? Does it have a different feel, this game? Yeah, of course. Um, it's such a big game, like for us personally, playing against Southampton, like they're the neighbours. So we're really, like, really excited for it. And personally, the camp's just buzzing and like ready to like go out there on Monday night. Obviously, we're away from home, so it's even like going to be a harder game, and especially just something to look forward to as well. And Dinesh, we're unbeaten in the competition so far. That must give us plenty of confidence heading into this game. Yeah, I know we are unbeaten. We've um, played very well in both the games. Obviously. Against Forest, it was more of a defensive side towards the end and we showed our character and our resilience to get the three points there. Against Stoke, it was more of a different game. I think it was more balanced. We showed our qualities, they showed theirs, but at the end of it, we got the result. We may not have wanted at the time, but it was a good result in the end. So we're going to push to Southampton and try to get three points there as well. And what are we expecting from Southampton, Jordan? It's a derby, isn't it? it's an exciting game. It's a different sort of game for you boys. Yeah, definitely. Me personally, I live for games like that, just riled up, ready to play, especially like your opposition. Uh, if me coming against my winger on that day, I'm ready to be all over him, and as he should be to me. So we're looking forward to be a very competitive game, a challenging game as well, because they're a very good team, like credit where credit's due. But I think us boys are ready and like, we've got to be more tougher and give that extra bit of like grit to win the game. And just finally, we're streaming the game to YouTube, so there's hundreds and thousands of people who could watch you. How much of a motivation is that to give you boys a bit more exposure in such a big game like this? No, it's massive for us. And obviously we know how supportive the fans are. We see them every weekend for the first team and hopefully they can do the same for us. Well, that was two of our under 21s previewing tonight's game against Southampton. Joe, it's, a, it's going to be an interesting game. Both Bournemouth and Southampton unbeaten in the Premier League Cup so far this season. Yeah, um, I mean, it's a local derby as well as a cup game. Um, we've done particularly well um, without getting ahead of ourselves in the Premier League Cup. I mean, the coaching team and support staff of the 21s have done a really good job, uh, as have the players. Um, you know, the games we've played here, I think the fans that have come and watched and we've identified a Bournemouth way of playing and their attitude to the game has been exemplary. So uh, with that, you hope you get some results. Um, tonight's going to be another one of those games where hopefully we can progress and uh, continue the journey through the season in that particular competition and the Premier League Cup is a great competition isn't it because you know you can play against some clubs who have a higher category academy and and it's a great experience for our lads to you know play on on pitches like the one just behind us here. yeah you know we we, we have we've got a great uh, a fixture list at the moment and so we hopefully get into category two but the fact that Premier League Cup is, is there for us to play as you say in those types of stadiums against those levels of teams is, is a great extension to whatever other games we have and um, we want to be competitive at every level we can be and uh, you know so far that you know the lads have shown a style of play and a, a determination to sort of try and win those games and tonight with it being a local derby they'll be really up for it won't they you know just down the road against Southampton obviously they have to come here as well but you know they'll be fired up for it won't they of course of course um, as I say it's a cup competition so whichever level you play uh, you know a local cup league or the FA Youth Cup or this particular cup in question you want your lads to be competitive and hopefully what you're doing in training every week is is good enough to actually take the game at the, at the weekend or during the week in this case and for the under 21s you know they've as you say you have to create a fixture list and it makes these games you know the competitive ones ever ever the more important yeah you do because you want more of them um, you know you don't want a gap in the week where you haven't got a competitive game and you're trying to arrange one so uh, you know these opportunities uh, come around but probably not often enough and it's a good opportunity as well you know for for the under 21s they get some game time the manager might watch it back Sean Cooper can feed back and it's a it's a good opportunity for them to stake a claim for, a claim for themselves yeah of course I mean, if, if you know any young players playing in the 21s looks at this weekend and uh, you know look, look at a 17 year old Christian getting the opportunity so you know they can't turn around and say it's not there for them but they've actually got to you know they've got a grasp of opportunity when it comes and if tonight's that opportunity then they've got a grasp of opportunity and for them, you know, this, this competition has been a, a really good one for us over the last few years. We've made the knockout stages and, you know, look to progress and, and again, just, you know, continuing to get those games and playing against higher opposition. Yeah, we, we haven't. I mean, I know some of the, some of the, uh, the staff from other clubs who played Nottingham Forest through the week and they complimented, you know, some of our players and the way we played. And, uh, and we've actually shown it really well, um, you know, and let's not. Make, a step, make that a negative in terms of we're an underdog but I think we've done particularly well against what are theoretically you know, high grade 
academies, if you like, or under-21 teams. So, you know, it's, it's just a great opportunity again tonight to sort of continue that process. Absolutely. Well, that game tonight is going to be streamed on YouTube via the AFC Bournemouth channel, so make sure you catch it from 7pm. Now then, next up for the first team is a trip to Crystal Palace tomorrow night, and Eddie Howe has been speaking in his pre-match press conference. No, not, not much has changed in a couple of days in terms of our the boys that are missing. Um, from the game against Tottenham, we came through pretty much unscathed. Listen, you want to be winning regularly, and any time you don't win... Um, when you're in my shoes is, is a concern. We just have to look at our last three performances and within those last three performances, the games that we've lost, we could have, the results could have been very different. I don't think there's a lot wrong with the team. I think we're in pretty good shape, but I think we have to be more consistent throughout the games. Even within those games, there's been slight inconsistencies that have ended up costing us the games. And this season is going to be no different. You know, it's a collective effort. It's everybody coming together, staying very strong in the difficult moments, um, staying very calm and backing our ability. Yeah, I expect Crystal Palace to play as they do, you know, they're a, they're a dangerous team, they've got individuals who can hurt you. It's always a tough place to go and play football, an enjoyable place, but a tough place. Yeah. And he's a, a very engaging character, a really good guy to speak to and to gets his teams very well organised. That's the hallmark of, I think, of Roy Hodgson's teams. Well, that was Eddie Howe speaking in this morning's press conference. Joe, we always have tight games against Crystal Palace and tomorrow shouldn't be any different really, should it? I don't think so. They've, they've got a, a really experienced manager. Uh, tactically very aware you know like the team set up um, as, as the manager will fully know and uh, we just got to take advantage of the opportunities we had on uh, Saturday um, and just take that forward into um, tomorrow night's game um, and obviously f obviously finish off those chances that we created um, but yeah um, we're, we're not we're not short of belief um, and uh, the current squad you know the mix of players we've got now um, you know, got the ability to go away and uh, to hopefully take the points that are required, certainly before the Christmas period comes around. Absolutely, it's going to be a, a busy Christmas period. And Eddie Howe will be pleased to have Philip Billing and Simon Francis back. They've both served one game suspensions and to have those just even in, in back and around the squad, that would be, be great for the lads. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, Simon's experience and leadership, um, it's something you want on the pitch and not off it. Um, you know, Philip's come in from Huddersfield and done really well. So... You know, sometimes, bizarrely, uh, coming out of it to go back in, not that France, um, Simon would have wanted that to happen. Um, you know, you've got those players coming back into the fold, which is fantastic. It's a plus as opposed to a minus, obviously. And as Eddie Howe said in his pre-match press conference, you know, the last two, three performances, we might not have, have won, but there's been really positive signs there. And we've ended really strongly against Wolves, for example, and then against Spurs on the weekend, scoring two late goals. And, and we can really build on that, can't we? Yeah, there's, there's, not, there's not a gulf between the sides that we play you know there's obviously a little bit of quality in some areas of the pitch which m might be able to take that little bit of advantage but you know in, in terms of the games I've watched you know we, we, there's not been a chasm between you know the opposition and ourselves it's just that little whatever one percent it is that gets you over the line and uh, you know we just got to keep doing what we're doing and, and keep keep with the manager's beliefs in, in place which won't change and uh, you know we've proven that we've been able to uh, meet any adversity in the season um, you know the Christmas one is always a huge one um, you know so uh, you know we're looking forward to another game in the Premier League tomorrow night and as for Palace one win in six that win did come on the weekend against Burnley a, a 2 nil win they'll be be really looking to get points on the board won't they just as we will be before as you say a hectic Christmas period. yeah of course at home but you know you look at the results so far in, in the Premier League you know if you determine what they're going to be then you know uh, then you need to be doing the lottery. So uh, we just got to go there with the same beliefs we've had all, we've had all season. You know they'd be very well prepared. You know the manager and the team will know know all about Palace as they will about us. Um, and we just got to have that edge, whatever that edge is, um, to try and take the points uh, tomorrow night, whether that's one or three. Obviously, we want the three. Absolutely. Well, if you want to have a go at predicting the score tomorrow night, you can head over to the Mansion Bet website and take part in their new Predict 6 game. That's all we've got time for today. If you are going up to Selhurst Park, do have a safe journey. But if not, we'll have free live commentary on AFCB TV for you to follow. Bye for now.